Um, yes, um, innovation, as we all know, plays a crucial role in uh, wealth creation, in uh, environmental sustainability, in social welfare, and also in international competitiveness. And therefore, in this regard, um, the future of innovation for sustainability and development should be hinged on uh, two important aspects. Uh, being effective, in other words, it has to be technologically accessible and affordable, it has to be socially acceptable, and it also has to be uh, environmentally sound. The other aspect that the innovation should be hinged on is on being uh, responsive to the needs of local communities. It has to be demand-driven. And uh, to meet this goal, <coughs> there will be need to build technical capacities at individual levels, at institutional levels, and also at systemic levels. At individual levels, we need to train uh, highly skilled manpower in terms of human resources across all levels, right from the highly skilled, the local farmers, local communities. Uh, we also need at institutional level to have uh, improved infrastructure, uh, increased funding for research and development. We also need at institutional level to have um, the provision of the state-of-the-art equipment. Um, and we also need at institutional level to have improved inter- and inter-institutional collaboration. And all this should be geared towards providing uh, incentives for the efficient use of innovation and to enable flourishing of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship across uh, individual countries. Um, at systemic levels, we need responsive legal and policy frameworks, response to the needs of the local people. Um, and again, in addition to this, these policy and legal frameworks should be able to take cognizance of the issues of indigenous innovations by the local communities. And they should also take care of issues of access and benefit sharing, equity, in the usage and application of innovation. And I think this will enhance the effectiveness of innovation for sustainability and development.